hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel metallurgical engineering so in this video we are going to discuss about the gate 2025 so gate 2025 is going to be conducted by iit roorkee so they have launched the website and also they have issued the syllabus of the uh, all these gate papers so we can see the syllabus for metallurgical engineering here so you can go here and just download it the syllabus here yeah so this is the syllabus for uh, gate metallurgical engineering 2025 so this is the first uh, uh, section uh, which is about enge uh, engineering uh, mathematics in this you have linear algebra calculus vector calculus a uh, differential equation probability and statistic uh, numerical methods so approximately around uh, 10 marks which you will get it from this part engineering mathematics now come to the second section which is of metallurgical thermodynamics in which you will going to see about the law of thermodynamics first law second law third law as well as maxwell relation chemical potentials uh, ellingham diagram phase stability diagram point defects surface defect and also the electrochemistry part like single electrode potential electrochemical cells nernst equation a potential ph diagram so for this uh, 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 second part which is metallurgical thermodynamics you can uh, follow the books which is like uh, uh, you can go ahead with ahindra ghosh which is for metallurgical thermodynamics and there are some other books uh, which we will uh, cover in the next video the uh, this uh, third section is about transport phenomena and rate process in which you have moment transfer uh, momentum transfer heat transfer in which you have three mode like convection conduction and radiation and then mass transfer in which you have diffusion and fixed law fixed first law fixed second law and then dimensional analysis basics law of chemical kinetics and electrochemical kinetics so uh, this is the section 3 now the section 4 which is related to the extractive metallurgy and mineral processing so in which the first part will cover about the mineral processing like a communication a technique size classification flotation gravity and other methods for of a mineral of uh, 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 and then agglomeration sintering pelletizing abriquating these are things are there and also the about uh, material and energy balances in metallurgical processes principles and processes for extraction of non ferrous metals aluminum copper and titanium and then comes to the extractive metallurgy part in which you have iron and steel making primary steel making secondary steel making continuous casting so for the non ferrous thing you can follow hs ray the book which is i mean and also they have the nptel lectures over youtube you will get you will get it and for iron and steel making part you uh, you can follow three to four big uh, uh, books so for uh, iron making and steel making you can go ahead with this a uh, topkari book and also you can go with ahindra ghosh and uh, there is one book for the blast furnace which i will discuss in the next video now the comes here the next part and also for this part section 4 and section uh, 2 and 3 which is thermodynamics and uh, uh, transport phenomena the numerical portion is very important so you should focus on numerical portion of this uh, of thermodynamics Uh, transport phenomena and extractive metallurgy so if you are able to manage the numericals in these three sections you can definitely clear get with good ranks i mean i can guarantee that you will get under 50 ranks because the physical metallurgy and mechanical uh, uh, mechanical metallurgy part is uh, easier as compared to these three and almost 50% students can able to solve the physical metallurgy and mechanical metallurgy the portion which they didn't solve is the this the numerical portion so if you are able to go deeply and do practice regularly and also follow the nptel lectures for uh, uh, non ferrous metallurgy for uh, steel making by uh, deepak majumdar uh, from iit kanpur and these are things and thermodynamics lecture by professor bs murthy so these thing if you will follow you can able to manage the numerical portion as well so the section 5 is physical metallurgy which deals with chemical bonding x-ray dye friction crystal Im, uh, I, uh, Im, imperfections uh, diffusion in solids phase transformation solid state transformation this portion will come so the book which you will uh, prefer for the physical metallurgy is 
uh, you can uh, follow this uh, read hill book and also you can follow uh, 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 this uh, virag one uh, both the this uh, this material science as well as the physical metallurgy book by uh, virag one and uh, bijender singh for the this face uh, and this heat treatment part and also you can follow the another book by so uh, yeah so this uh, we will uh, discuss about these books like for x-ray diffraction part you can follow professor bd quality and also for the acm and these kind of things you will follow some other book but yeah overall this portion is easier and the final and the last a uh, second last is mechanical metallurgy in which you are going to see the dislocation theory strengthening mechanism fracture behavior uh, and fatigue so more or less this is uh, this is a cover in a single book which is professor by a g a Dieter. so this book is sufficient to cover all these portions of mechanical metallurgy and uh, yeah you can able to manage this thing and the final part is manufacturing one in which you have metal casting hot warm cold work hot warm and cold working of metals metal joining powder metallurgy and non destruct uh, destructive uh, testing ndt uh, in this you can follow uh, several books for like for NDT you can follow the ASM handbook that is more than sufficient and uh, similarly for uh, this part which is hot warm and cold working of metal which is rolling forging extrusion wire drying so this you will get in 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 this editor book uh, in the back portion so these are these things are already uh, covered there so this is the overall syllabus for uh, gate metallurgical engineering and uh, yeah so the main thing which you can focus on the numerical portion for thermodynamics transport phenomena and the final one is the extra, uh, extracting metallurgy so if you are able to manage the uh, this part you can easily get uh, under 50 rank that's the and the one thing which is not here is general aptitude so general aptitude will come up 10 marks i think 10 or 15 yeah 10 mark of uh, 15 marks so that thing you can see from any general aptitude books so that is not a big deal here now let's come to the website again so for right now you can download here if you can go to the download section so the information browser has yet to be released but you can download the oh, and the previous year question papers from 2007 to 2024 here so you can download the paper previous year paper the solution is not given here but i will try to upload the solutions in our youtube channel we have already uploaded for gate 2020 2019 and 2018 so we'll try to upload the solutions from 2007 to 2024 and another thing you can buy this book arihant book which is not that much costly we you will get it around roughly around 160 rupees so in which you will have uh, solutions from 2007 to uh, uh, 2000 to 2024 so that book is must i mean it is re recommended if you are preparing for gate examination now come to the uh, opportunity so if you are preparing for gate so the next question came what are the opportunities you will get it so this is the very important part here so the first thing you will with the valid gate score you can use for the seeking admission to master's program and direct doctoral program so you have two options here either you can go with for the master's program in different iits and nits and another options you have you can go to the direct phd program which is a very good option if you are interested in academia job like if you want to be become a professor in iits or nits or in some government colleges in your state so the direct phd option is very good and in direct phd option you will get the master's degree as well you have some requirement if you will able to uh, finish that requirement you will get master's ms as well as phd degree from that iits or nits but this direct phd program i don't think it is in all the iits but I think in IIT Bombay, IIT Madras, IIT Kanpur, there are some IITs which you have this direct PhD program. But if you are interested in uh, industry job like in PSUs or in some in, uh, industry job like Tata Steel, Jindal Steel, uh, uh, Applied Materials or some other industry, so the master's program like MTech is good option. 
so this is what you have one option another thing during gate if you are doing gate so uh, i mean if you are going to have admission in masters and direct phd so the financial assistance is uh, is uh, provided so the first financial assistant like for mtech it is 12400 per month and if you are going for the phd program either it is direct phd or after mtech you will get 37000 rupees per month for the first two year and 42000 rupees per month for the third and a third to fifth year but there is another option which is not mentioned here which is called pmrf scholarship prime minister research fellowship program in which your stipend is close to 70000 to 80000 per month so for that program uh, if you are going uh, with the gate score as well as so yeah i mean if you have uh, like uh, cgpa uh, is above 8.5 and if you are able to publish some public I mean, some uh, research papers during bachelor's degree or even during masters so that option is very good as compared to this normal phd program and the uh, recruitment yeah so the second option you can apply in the public sector undertakings so this is psus there are various psus in which you can apply like in in this year like in 2024 there are two psus uh, uh sale and iocl and also nalgo so there are three psus came for the uh, metallurgical engineering which is nalgo is national aluminium company limited and the steel authority of india and uh, this iocl which is uh yep yeah. so this is uh, iocl indian oil corporation limited but there are other companies too which hired for i mean which is uh, hiring for metallurgical engineering they might come in next year we I and mean, uh, this uh, we don't know but they usually had like bhl bharat heavy electricals limited and the another company which hires is iocl i told you hal hindustan aeronautics limited and another nalco as i told you so the bhel hal nalco and the another one you have nmdc national mineral development corporation four and then uh, fifth one is your Rashtriya Ispat Nigam Limited RINL and the Steel Authority of India. So there are six PSUs in which metallurgical engineering can be eligible. So this one is the very good opportunity. The package is very good. But again, it depends on your uh, priorities. If you are going for the higher studies, if you are going for the uh, industry job, if you are going for the academia job, based on that, you can decide it. But GATE is a very good opportunities who are, I mean, if you want to uh, explore more things. So this is why if you are uh, preparing for GATE, you can either go with the PhD and master's degree, either you, and if you have very good rank under 50 or under 100, you can go to the PSUs. So this is what the opportunity sections in this particular thing. And the date, I don't think they have uh, opened the date thing. So whenever it will come, uh, we will try to make a video and inform you. So right now they have uh, launched the syllabus of the gate paper. They have already uploaded the previous year gate papers. So this is the thing. So if you are preparing for gate, make sure you have all the materials. You are going in the right directions and you can download the books you can follow the books for each particular sections as i discussed there are six sections so you can follow the book you can prepare the notes follow nptl lectures and uh, make sure uh, you are going into the right direction and if you have any problem any doubts you can reach out to us via instagram we have our our email id also you can email us your problems your doubts we are here to help you so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like it please share with your friends thank you so much